Hello, I'm Livy Balan, and today I will show you how to install Vagrant on Linux Mint. Because Linux Mint is Ubuntu based, uh, this will apply to Ubuntu desktop also. So let's get started. First, I will open VirtualBox. And as you can see here, I'm having a Linux Mint Cinnamon on 64 bits installed on it. Before running the machine, I will click uh, the virtual machine name, right click on it, choose settings, and here I will select the system menu. Here I recommend you to uh, choose uh, an amount of RAM memory uh, that will suit your needs. In my case, I will choose let's say uh, 20, 48 megabytes. Remember that uh, when you will start uh, the Linux Mint Cinnamon on 64 bits machine, this will start a virtual machine and inside of this virtual machine, I will install Vagrant, which also will um, create another virtual machine inside my virtual machine. So I recommend you if you want to follow along with me uh, using these steps to modify the amount of uh, base RAM memory RAM to let's say uh, 2048. Um, I um, run the, the machine with uh, one gigabyte of uh, RAM and it works well. So uh, test it and see what happens. I will click the OK button and now I will start the Linux Mint virtual machine. <coughs> Meanwhile, I will um, split the screen in two. On the left side, you will see the text that I will use during this tutorial. And on my right side, I'm having the Linux Mint Cinnamon virtual machine. Let's connect the machine. I log in to my machine. And now, here, I will open a terminal. Okay. First thing that I will do in order to install Vagrant uh, in my virtual machine, I will use sudo up get update. Hit the enter key, type the sudo password, and this will resynchronize the package index file from their sources. Now, if I click on the menu button and type virtual box, you will see that I don't have virtual box installed on it. So first thing that I will do is to install virtual box. In order to do this, I will use sudo up get install virtual box. Hit enter and now click the Y uh, key hit enter again and remember not to be confused that I am installing the packages inside of my virtual machine not on my uh, local operating system. Okay, as you can see the um, virtual box were installed but if I go to the start menu and type virt for example no virtual box icon is listed here. This is because when I've used sudo up get install virtual box, uh, only the base binaries were installed. A graphical user interface for virtual box is provided by another package, let's say virtual box Qt. And uh, with this package virtual box, no virtual box user interface uh, will be found on um, um, 
system start menu or uh, in another place. Okay, okay. The first thing that I will do is to install Vagrant after I've uh, installed virtual box. So I will type sudo apt get install vagrant. Hit the enter key. Type y again, hit enter. And this package provides the tool to create and configure lightweight, reproductible and portable virtual environments. Okay. After this, I will run up get again with sudo up get install virtualbox dk ms uh, hit the enter key and uh, what this package is doing this is basically the virtualbox kernel module to build with dk ms this will ensure that uh, the virtualbox host kernel modules like um, virtual like uh, vbox uh, drv uh, vbox net flt and vbox uh, net adp are uh, properly updated if the linux kernel version changes during the next sudo up get upgrade so in order to be safe when you will do uh, future updates I recommend you to install this package also if I go to my start menu and type virt you will see that no VirtualBox user interface is provided so in order to do to install a user interface I will type sudo up get install VirtualBox dash qt hit the enter key <coughs> and uh, this package will install the Qt based graphical user interface for VirtualBox. Okay, after doing this, now if I hit the menu button and type virt for VirtualBox, you will see that uh, the Oracle vir VM VirtualBox Manager appears. And if I click on the help button and choose about VirtualBox, you will see that here I'm having the VirtualBox version 5. I will close this and now if I type uh, vagrant-v, this will show me uh, the vagrant version. And as you can see, I am running vagrant version 143. This is not the latest version this is the version from uh, the latest stable version from the ubuntu repository if you want to see what is the latest version i will open the i will open a web browser mozilla firefox in my case and i will go to vagrant app slash download you can also go to the vagrant app.com uh, website and here you can choose from the downloads button. As you can see here, uh, this page is telling me that the latest Vagrant uh, version is 181. And I recommend you to use the latest version and not the repository version, repository, repository version, because you will get in some trouble. And you'll see in a moment what troubles. Okay. Now, if I uh, create a Vagrant project using uh, makebeer in order to create a directory located in uh, my home directory, Vagrant and uh, Ubuntu-Precise32, hit the Enter key and uh, then go to this project by using cd tilde Vagrant Ubuntu-Precise32 hit the enter key and now what I will do is to initialize a new vagrant environment by creating a vagrant file for this I will use vagrant init ubuntu uh, slash precise 32 hit the enter key and now if I type ls you will see that here I'm having a vagrant file 
Now, in order to start and uh, provisions the Vagrant environment, I will use Vagrant app dash dash provider virtual box. Hit enter. And now, as you can see, Vagrant is telling me that uh, I'm having some errors. As you can see, the error is Vagrant has detected that you have a version of VirtualBox installed that is not supported. Please install one of the supported version listed below to use Vagrant. 4.0, 4.1, 4.2 and 4.3. This means that my current Vagrant version 1.4.3 is not compatible with my VirtualBox machine, which is version 5. So, in order to uh, install the latest uh, Vagrant version, first I will uninstall the current Vagrant version. In order to do this, I will use sudo apt-get purge Vagrant. Hit enter, hit the Y key, enter again. And now if I use Vagrant minus P, you will see that there is no file or directory on uh, my computer, meaning that instead of showing me the current Vagrant version, I will get an error. This means that Vagrant is not installed on my uh, computer. Now, in order to install the latest Vagrant version, I will use the wget and an URL in order to get the latest uh, dev package uh, from uh, Vagrant uh, repository. Uh, if you want to uh, see the location where I found this URL, you will have to go to the downloads page from vagrantapp.com and here choose um, from the uh, Debian section uh, the 32-bit or 64-bit uh, version of Vagrant. Uh, because I am using a 64-bit uh, operating system, I will choose uh, this uh, package. So in order to get the latest uh, Vagrant version, all you have to do is to use wget uh, and then uh, the URL that uh, you will copy from here. So right click and then copy link location. Remember that I'm using Firefox for this example. And now if I use paste, you'll see the URL. Now, if I hit the enter key, the download process is uh, starting. But because I already, uh, I've already download, uh, downloaded my uh, deb package all uh, i have to do is to go to my home directory and downloads now if i type ls here you will see the vagrant uh, debian package here okay um, in order to install the package i will use the uh, dp kg uh, command so I will type sudo dpkg minus i and then uh, the Debian package name. Hit the enter key. And now the installation is complete. In order to see uh, the Vagrant version, I will type Vagrant dash v. If I hit the enter key, you will see that now I am using the Vagrant 181 version, which is the latest one. Okay, the next thing that I will do is to remove the Vagrant project that I've previously created by using rm-rf and then uh, the Vagrant uh, project location, which is my home directory Vagrant. Hit the enter key. And now, all I have to do is to recreate uh, the project using the commands that I've previously shown you. Create the Ubuntu Precise32 directory, move to this 
directory, use the init command to create the vagrant file. And as you can see, vagrant is showing me uh, an info. Vagrant is updating some internal state for the latest version. Please do not quit Vagrant at this time. While upgrading, Vagrant uh, will need a copy of your uh, uh, Oriole boxes, so it will use a considerable amount of disk space. After this is upgrading, the temporary disk space will be freed. Ctrl C now to exit. If you want to remove some boxes or free up some disk space, press Enter and re or return key to continue. So I will hit the Enter key. And now if I type ls, you will see that the vagrant file were created and all I have to do is to use vagrant app command in order to start and provisions uh, the vagrant environment. Hit enter <coughs> and you will see that here instead of, instead of an error, the process started. I have used the control C command in order to interrupt the process and uh, that's it this is how you install the latest vagrant uh, version and also this is how you install the repository version but uh, as you saw I don't recommend to use it because you will get in some trouble if you want to learn more about vagrant about Ubuntu about web technologies you can check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website, livyubalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.